don't know if I told y'all this story, but listen, listen, listen. Let me tell you what happened. What's up, guys, babes? It's your girl Joy back with another 10 minute lunch. Baby, you know what I got today? It is what it is. It's that way sometimes. It bees that way, okay? Apples. But baby, the Fuji apples are good. But I'm going to try something new today. I'm going to have some honey on my apples. Let's try a little honey, honey. <laughs> but I do think this would be better on like um, green apples or pink lady apple. But Fuji, baby, you better get you some. How y'all doing? Okay, look at me do the honey. Guess that'll be a good thumbnail. Ooh, the honey is all over the apples. Ooh, that's gonna be good. But I'm a, I'm a kicking up a notch. Bam! I got me some cinnamon. I'm gonna put some cinnamon. You know cinnamon is good for your heart too, honey. So, ooh, ooh, that look good. Baby, let's see how it tastes though. Some cinnamon. I'm gonna put a lot of cinnamon. Okay, that's a honey. Wait, let me put some more honey. You can never have too much honey. <laughs> Y'all wanna try one? I'll try, I'll try one. I'll try one. I don't I'll try one. one. Here, let me hand it to you. Don't be in my camera. All right, all right, all right. Okay, let's let me know. We're gonna try it together, okay? We're gonna okay, try it together. Okay. I'll take, I'll take you got it? I got it. I got Don't it. drop it. I won't. Here you go. I'll Here you go. Up. Here you go. Look, I'm sharing the love with some of my students. Don't drop it. It's going to be messy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're going to go on with that bite, y'all. Okay. Let's see. Okay, here we go. One, right. two, three, go. Mmm. Tastes like apple pie. Oh, like an apple pie? It does taste like apple pie. Mmm. You should try one. I don't eat apples. Good. It tastes good. Tastes mm. good. Mmm. Baby. Mm. Oh. Not bad. Not bad. It does taste like an apple pie. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Sweet. Mmm. That was pretty tasty. That was good, y'all. You better try it. Mmm. I'm gonna get some more off the plate. Mm -mm. Y'all, yesterday, I was so busy, I didn't get a chance to film. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's a little messy, but it's good. I should be eating it with a fork. <laughs> She either wear a knife and fuck her like, mm hmm yes, uh-huh. <laughs> mm hmm That was good. Mm-mm. All right, y'all. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. This is like eating dessert for lunch. What y'all got going on for the weekend? Leave it in the comment section below. Or, or M, what things do you put on apples that's weird? You know what? There's a cream cheese frosting and you dip it, you dip your apples in it, baby. Good. And all it is is cream cheese, and you put powdered sugar in it. 
It's divine when you have strawberries with that. That's really good. But this is good and it's filling. Sweet. But pink lady apples, that'd be good. Mm hmm So I was doing, um, we had game day yesterday because Thursday is typically a short day. Every other Thursday is a short day. And I had the kids in the library and they were at different groups, but I do um, grammar games. So they learning grammar through the games. And I was doing a group um, I had a small group showing them how to annotate. So th today I came and I said, mm -mm, everybody needs to hear this. So I recorded um, one paragraph, annotating one paragraph. Now y'all do it as a group, then you do it by yourself. Because after looking at the test results and their papers, they didn't annotate. Obviously your way didn't work. Try it my way. It's crazy when kids think they know more than you. Mm -mm. And you don't lived it, experienced it, watched it, and all the other things to it. Manipulated it, but they think they know more than you. For example, I don't know if I told y'all this story, but listen, listen, listen. Let me tell you what happened. Mmm. Good. Sydney got a job through her school to be a personal assistant. And she texted me. It could have been she texted me Monday or she texted me last week. And her first task that they gave her was to book a restaurant for his employees. And she was so excited. And then a couple of days went by. She said, Mom, he wants to send me money so I could start to book the rest, make the reservation. I was like, what? She said, yeah, he's going to send me a check and he wants me to cash the check, you know, through your phone. You can take a picture of the check and it'll be deposited in your account. You okay over there? I think I died. And deposit it in your account. In her account. I said, mmm. She sends a copy of the check to me. I'm like, Sydney, I don't know about this. I said, why don't you take the check to the bank, you know, to check it out. I said, because this is sounding kind of fishy. And then um, there are lots of scams out there, so I don't know if you should do it. Then she starts, but Ma, this is my job. I don't know what this is. She starts crying. I can't do crime. Mm-mm. I can't do crime. I hung up. And I was like, Typically, when somebody is pressuring you and rushing you to do something, baby, that's a red flag right there. I said, did you Google this person right there? I said, because it doesn't sound right. Because all you got to do is call and make a reservation. Sometimes they may want you to hold the reservation with $50 or something like that. But he sent her a check for $2,900. Hmm, baby, I would want to cash that check. It look good and legit, too. But I was like, when it's too good to be true, is what? Is what? Have you ever heard that saying? You heard that saying before? When it's too good to be true, what? It probably is. And it was. So the next day, I didn't talk to her. I didn't see her. I think she was at church. She sends me a text. She was like, well, Ma, can you help me pay for my senior pictures? Um, expensive. Um, can you at least pay half? I would have used the money from my job 
personal assistant but it ended up being a scam and i know i know mom is always right you better believe it so being a bigger person you know i wanted to say what did i tell you what was i trying to tell you, you don't want to listen you don't want to listen like a lot of these teens they don't want to listen they got all the answers all I said was, mm-hmm, lesson learned. You know, all we can do is live and learn. So now she has this experience that she can put in her backpack of knowledge, and hopefully she'll be aware if something like this happens again. Because if it's too good to be true, then it's what? Probably is. Probably is. So, baby, hopefully she learned her lesson. And she keeps it moving next time. And boy, but that $2,900 check look good. But she found information talking about it will be a scam. So she notified the school and everything. Period. So listen to Mama Joy. If it's too good to be true, it probably is. Mm hmm Lesson learned. Check. All right, y'all. Let me go wash my hands and give me some water. <laughs> I hope you have a good day, good evening, good morning, whatever it is for you. And show me some love in the comment section below. Bye, y'all.